What a beautiful day. Good morning. Whoops. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, lots to do. And pretty day like this, you sure don't feel like doing much. Well, you feel like getting out and enjoying it after the whole winter, but you don't feel like going back to work. <laughs> But that's where we're at. So here we go. So for those of you that are new here, first off, thank you very much for watching. And uh, anyway, the for those of you that don't know, we take care of the fairgrounds here. And all this white fence is all steel pipe. And it all needs to be painted <laughs> we we're kind of caught up we got most of this all painted up but uh, that little 4-h corral it's brand new we just put that in this winter and uh, it needs paint but I've been kind of putting it off because of the weather the the paint has to be, the painting surface has to be about 50 degrees. And uh, right now it's about 50 degrees, the air temperature. So I'm really hopeful that I can even do this. But uh, kind of where we're at, I got a, well, here I'll show you, it's at the other end. This fence is a horse race track and it's a straightaway track roughly a quarter mile long um, it's just the it's just posts and one top rail and then it has net wire attached to that and that's what we're doing with this 4-h corral and it's really hard you really can't paint those posts without getting paint all over all the wire and having to paint that too if the wire is already attached to the post so I need to get this painted before um, I put the wire on and the horse and mule sale is coming up early April I think it's the 12th and the 13th I think this year so I'm running out of time and what makes this even harder is this hillside here in front of me. The sun will go behind that hillside and it cools off really fast. So by the time the air temperature hits 50, <laughs> this corral is in the shade. Actually, it's a, not a corral, it's an arena, horse arena. Now, this, is the, this is what I need to paint right here. I'm not sure that it's warm enough to do it. We just built this last fall. It's it's pretty good size. I'm guessing it's probably you know, I knew I measured it when we did it. I think it's a little over 100 feet. What is it? Maybe maybe 200 feet long and 100 feet wide. I don't remember. I don't know if it's quite that big. But all these posts, anyway, need to turn white if they're warm enough to do it. Yeah, I might be. I might be able to do that. The next several days are supposed to be fairly warm, so I'll probably be down here painting and boring you to death. had a lot of people ask, well, why don't you just spray this on? Well, that's a really good question. I personally think it would work, but the fairground said that they think it's too thick, first off, and there'd be too much lost in the air. 
which sure speed things up a lot though. But just posts on a top rail aren't usually so bad. What takes the most time is uh, the pits. Like, see, if you do this lightly, all those pits on here, this pipe isn't, uh, isn't smooth. It's got a lot of little holes and things in it, which you got to fill up. Like I said, this is one of my least favorite things to do. But, uh, anyway, I looked into... A few days ago, I had that video about uh, Elon Musk and his satellites destroying the atmosphere and all that stuff that they were talking about. When I first read that, I wasn't really sure what to think. I'm still not. But, uh, you know, all the, there's so much doomsday, end of the world type headlines and everything. Sooner or later, one of them's probably going to be true. But, uh, that one, it kind of kind of made me question. I mean, not only I thought the satellites were small, I, I had read somewhere that they were only about the size of a basketball. Well, it turns out they're closer to 1,500 pounds on average. Some of, well, not on average. Uh, some of them were only 500 pounds. The, some of them were 1,700, something like that. But um, he's went wanting to basically have send a, a hundred of them into the upper atmosphere to be burned up and gotten rid of. And at, on the sound of it, that seems like kind of a lot. They're saying that it can do something to deplete the ozone and all this stuff. And, you know, they're always saying something's going to do that. If you... Quite a few years back, it was hairspray. Remember that? They wanted everybody to quit using uh, whatever it is that propels hairspray and paint and that kind of thing out of a can. And I think they did. I think they went to something else. But big old scare, it was the end of the world. And I think that was back in the 70s. Well, none of this stuff. There's always been that guy standing on the street corner at the picket sign that says the end of the, the end is near. You know. Anyway, I got to looking into that stuff and wondering just how much does burn up in the atmosphere. It's eighty percent. So say you got a well, he's wanting to get rid of a a hundred satellites. If they're a thousand pounds a piece, it's a hundred thousand pounds. But eighty percent that's gonna burn up. So twenty thousand pounds of um, metal collecting in the air that's supposed to be small enough to destroy the ozone or whatever it is. I don't even know. But uh, <laughs> you know that sounds like a lot. But when you look at the size of the world, I have no idea how many square miles this ocean, the world is, including the oceans and everything. When you spread out 20,000 pounds of anything around the whole entire world, man, there's not going to be nothing there. <laughs> dust. I mean, tiny particles of dust and very, very far apart, I would think. Oh, I don't know. I kind of think it's a whole chicken little sky's fallen doomsday thing. There's a lot of money in fear. And if they can keep you scared and worried about something, they make more money. And that shouldn't be that way, but unfortunately that's kind of the way it's become. Al Gore, he's kind of the one that figured that out and made himself millions and the rest of them jumped on that. Yeah, this is kind of working. I don't know. It'll all depend whether or not this dries. It's smearing on here okay. They said it's oil base, and uh, it, it should be 50 degrees to dry for at least four hours. And I don't know. Like I said, that hillside over there, 
This is going to be in the shade in less time than that. Until now, I don't think it's been 50 degrees all day. It's only, well, with the time change, I don't know what time it is. Not that late. I did get to wondering, you know, he's wanting to burn up a hundred satellites. Just how many are up there total? You know, he's just one, one company that's got satellites. All the cell phones have them and TV stations have them and, you know, different countries and there's a lot of satellites up there. And I tried to get a count on those and you know I tried and tried I got anywhere from 6,000 to 8 or 9,000 I never could find where there really was a, a clear number they probably don't even really know like I said a lot of countries and things they they launch their own and if they don't tell us how many they got and I doubt they would why would they if we don't tell them what we got Especially these spy satellites and things, you know. That I bet there's no idea how many there is up there, but 8,000 of them now. If they burnt all those up at once in the atmosphere, we might have a problem. Maybe. 100, I don't, <clears throat> excuse me, 100, I don't think it's much to worry about. Yeah, oh, this is going to be a pain. Yeah, I'm so tired of painting. Every year there's a bunch of it to do, and it's never-ending. I mean, I only showed you part of the fences we have. There's more. Being that it's all just with a brush, it takes a long time. This fence would just one rail and a top rail it shouldn't take me that long but the the ones that have I think five rails they're small they're more like this gate but the ones that have five rails or six rails or whatever it is plus the posts and the top rails man they take forever and the other thing too you can only see one side so then you gotta come over to this side and you get to do it again oh boy oh boy Fun stuff, it never ends. And one of my bees is gonna be stuck in that. Come on, get out of there. When we first started painting these fences, we weren't going to paint them. The brown looks good. I mean, the rust, you know, it looks good. It looks like an old wooden corral or something from a distance. But uh, the rodeo arena, it, it's dark enough in there during the rodeo at night that the horses couldn't see the fence and they were running into the fence and uh, so we decided well we'll just just only paint the rodeo arena and it looked really good when we got done so then they decided well I guess the rest doesn't look finished now we gotta paint it all <laughs> We should never have done it. We should have put the flags up or something on the arena. But, uh, I don't know. I just bought these four four gallons of paint here. That was 200 bucks. I don't know how many thousands and thousands of dollars we've spent on paint in a whole lot of time. But, uh, it's not really as bad as it was. We had, when we first started doing this, we were using a car paint primer first that was gray. And uh, what that was supposed to do was neutralize the rust and keep it from flaking off so the paint would last longer. And we did that for several years. We painted it once with, with the gray primer and then another one with the white paint but being that it was gray primer the white didn't cover it that well so then I ended up having to have a second coat <laughs> actually a third coat if you count the primer 
man, I'll tell you, we are so, so sick of painting. If I never see another paintbrush in my life, I'd be really happy. But unfortunately, it's a never-ending deal. Here we go again. And as soon as we get done with one end of the fairgrounds where we started, the rest is coming through and it needs another coat. Never ends. Painted white, it does look pretty good. But uh, the brown looks okay too, I think. Another thing that makes it hard is these big tall arches. Those are for keeping the gates from sagging and that kind of thing. With steel pipe three feet in the ground, I don't think they would, but we've been putting them on there anyway. And uh, with those, they're, I don't know how tall they are, 12 feet, maybe 14. And uh, I'll have to get the tractor bucket and stand in that to do those. But I got, let's see what I get. I got one, two, three, four, I got five posts worth. And there's a whole lot more, but that's a good start. See if this freezes tonight. What happened in the sail barn, probably too dark in there, there's somebody riding anyway, but uh, what happened in the sail barn, it was about this time of year, we tried to paint that, and uh, the paint crystallized. It, it looks like, um, kind of like ice crystals. And in some places it's kind of coming off, even though that's under cover out of the weather. So I'm pretty sure it was kind of freezing. And I don't know. Paint is weird stuff. I don't know. It'll either work or it won't. But I'm about, that sun is about to go behind that hill. Oh, I'm done for today. See you folks tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.